neighbors and neighborhood. Mummy, I have to go to Pihu's house. It's a birthday today. She has called all the children of the neighborhood to celebrate it. Please take out a party dress for me. Do you know the meaning of neighbor and neighborhood? Yes, mummy. The area around our house is a neighborhood, and the people living near our house are our neighbors. It is important to have good neighbors and to be a good neighbor. Mummy, who are good neighbor? Good neighbors help each other in times of need. They share each other's joys and sorrows, and celebrate festivals and special occasions together. The children of a neighborhood play together, like I play with my friends. Yes, and we must also respect the religion and customs of our neighbors. Mummy, I will become a good neighbor. You need some qualities to be a good neighbor. Which qualities? Be helpful and friendly. Keep the neighborhood clean. Help each other in times of need. Do not disturb the neighbors. Okay, mummy. I will take care of what you have told me. Do you know that a good neighborhood has many useful services which help us to make our lives easy and comfortable? What services, mummy? Like a school. Where you go to read and write, and also learn good habits and manners, a post office helps us to stay in touch with our relatives and friends. It sells postcards, envelopes, and stamps. We can send letters, postcards, money orders, and parcels through a post office. Mummy, how do our letters reach our relatives? We post our letters in a post box. A postman takes them from there to a post office. The officers at the post office send the letters to different places. At last, another postman delivers these letters to us. Can we post a teddy to Sweetie on her birthday to Delhi in a post box? No, we cannot send a teddy through a post box. We have to go to a post office directly. Or send parcels or money orders. Mummy, is hospital also a neighborhood service? Yes, Simi. Doctors and nurses take care of sick and injured patients in a hospital. Every hospital has an ambulance to bring sick and injured people for immediate care. You must also know that a nursing home or a clinic is smaller than a hospital. And has fewer facilities. Are there any places in our neighborhood that provide safety services to us? Yes, Simi. A big neighborhood has a police station. The police helps us when we are in trouble. They guard our neighborhood and keep our lives and belongings safe. When there is a fire, we call the fire brigade from the fire station. A fire engine carries. Firefighters, water, hose, and ladders to put out fires. Mummy, how do the firefighters remain protected from fire? Dear, they wear special clothes that do not catch fire. Mummy, is the market where we go to buy vegetables also a part of our neighborhood? Yes, a market is also a part of our neighborhood. It has many shops which sell fruit, vegetables, books, clothes, and other things of daily need. Mummy, where are Uncle and Grandpa? I haven't seen them since a long time. Your uncle has gone to the bank, and Grandpa has gone to the library. Do these also form a neighborhood? Yes, dear. Our library has books for people to read or borrow. The librarian works in a library. We keep our money and other valuables in a bank for safety. A bank also lends money to people. Does a neighborhood have some places for enjoyment also? Every neighborhood has a park where we can enjoy and relax, like a park where I go to play. Yes, 
A park is a place where people go to walk, play and relax. Children have fun on the swings, slides and seesaws. We can also go to a zoo or a circus with our family and friends to enjoy. What is the difference between a zoo and a circus? A zoo is a place where many kinds of wild animals are kept for people to see. A zookeeper takes care of the animals in zoo. A circus has a group of people like clowns, acrobats and magicians who perform to entertain people. Mommy, can you come with me to the market to buy a gift for Pihu? I have already bought a gift for her. Now go and get ready. I will drop you to Pihu's house and go to the temple. Why do we go to temple? We go to temple to praise and thank God for what He has given us. People go to different places of worship like temples, churches, mosques and gurudwaras. I'll get ready quickly and come. Then we can leave together.